ब्रॉडबैंड डायपोल एंटीना डिजाइन फॉर फोर जी एप्लीकेशन फॉर टू पॉइंट वन गे गार्ड्स टू टू पॉइंट फोर गे गार्ड्स इज ऑपरेटिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड इन दिस केस वी विल यूज अ प्लेनर डायपोल इन विच इट इज गोइंग टू रेडिएट और इजेंटल पोलराइज वेब्स एज कंपेयर टू सिंपल डायपोल एंटीना विच वर्टिकल डायपोल एंटीना बेसिकली रेडिएट द वर्टिकल पोलराइज रेडिएशन एंड फाइनली वी विल एड द स्वीप इन द रिजल्ट एंड वी विल डिस्कस द डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स एंड हाउ वी कैन डिजाइन प्लेनर डायपोल एंटीना आर सिंपल डाइप वर्टिकल डायपोल एंटीना फॉर स्पेसिफिक रेजुनेटिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ सब स्ट्रेट असाइनिंग मटीरियल रोजर्स परमेटिविटी इज टू पॉइंट टू एंड डायलेक्ट्रिक क्लास इज डेट मच नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एड पैरामीटर्स एट दीज पैरामीटर्स एर इज एटी थ्री मिलीमीटर फॉर एक्स एक्सेस सबस्टेट एक्स एक्सेस डायमेंशन एंड वन हंड्रेड टेन मिलीमीटर फॉर वाई डायमेंशन एट दीज पैरामीटर्स इन एक्स वाई Z dimension. Now I am going to add height of this substrate, which is two point three millimeter. Press OK. This is we have substrate. Now I am going to design a dipole. First dipole, which is called plan planar dipole. Add these dimensions for one arm of this dipole. Antenna width, which is one point three eight millimeter. Second is port gap, which is similarly one point three eight millimeter. Add these dimensions. In x size and y size, as antenna width and dipole length of this, I am going to add the length of this dipole arm, which is fifty-five millimeter. Press OK. This is we have a a single arm of this planar dipole. Now I am going to duplicate this. Around an axis, around axis, around z axis, one eighty degree. Press OK. After that, I am going to create a port between these two dipoles to give it a. Excitation. Add this dimension for port design for this dipole. The values are ready has been entered. Press OK. If you want to check the parameters values, you can check it from design properties.
now I am going to assign boundaries as a perfectly to the arm of this dipole here is a port I am going to give excitation as a lump port In this case we are selecting for 50 ohm, we will change this in next lectures. Here you can see that port has been assigned between two arms of this dipole. Now I am going to create a box which is called radiation box. Add these dimensions for radiation box. You can add a random ones, but the design must be covered inside this box. I am going to check it. This is we have design which is completely inside this radiation box. Assign this radiation box as a radiation. Now here you can check the perfect E has been assigned to his material to a substrate has been assigned the remaining is analysis setup I am going to add frequency sweep which is 2.2 hour .2 you can um, 2.2 or 2.3 15 number of hours now I am going to add the sweep as a frequency sweep add these sweep values and press ok validate the design and now I am going to analyze this simulation has been complete now check the return loss plot this is we have return loss plot I am going to mark it at minus 10 dB. This is we have the operating band which is from 2 gigahertz to 2.27 gigahertz. We will shift this band from 2.1 gigahertz to maximum 2.4 gigahertz. By adding the parametric sweep in the result, we will change the length of this dipole and we will change the uh, substrate height, substrate material by doing these changes we will shift this to 2.1 to 2.4 gigahertz in coming part if you want to know the basic concept behind this how I have selected the length and width and different parameters uh, values you must check the tutorial series antenna theory and a question concept theory of antenna series in my channel 